Right, here's a standard uh, Weber barbecue, and I wanted to make a smoker, but my problem was um, smokers are expensive here, and really, truthfully, I don't use a smoker that often. So my thoughts were, could I make one? And I was looking at uh, UDS's ugly drum smokers, but that was another piece of kit that I would need. And uh, you know how it is in the middle of the night when you get this brain wave? Well, this is mine. So, ordinary Weber barbecue. And here is a sleeve. And the sleeve basically is made from the scrap aluminium from the donor caravan. Um, it's two foot, and I've used probably a dozen dozen screw uh, rivets, and that's my only cost. Um, what I did was I measured the diameter of the bowl, uh, used pi d, got the circumference kind of, and then I had a scrap while I was straightening things up that I just put inside the bowl, and I made it rest on the grill supports. What I didn't consider was that the grill diameter is actually critical. Now my dimension was. 1720 millimeters, convert that as you will, and the grill just fits. I mean, what's stopping this grill, let me show you, what's stopping this grill um, coming down are rivets. I put four rivets in, you know, north, south, east, and west, and that's what's stopping it in. Getting it in is actually really tight, so I would make that a bit bigger, double check my measurements, and actually check your own barbecue by using that scrap alumin uh, aluminium if you've got it, or cardboard, or anything that you can use just to double check the diameter. Now, you can see at the edge here that this diameter is less than the bowl, so the lid doesn't fit like it fits on the bowl. It actually just perches on top, like that. But in essence, it was really easy to make, quick to make. Um, as I say, it probably took me an hour, well, an uh, hour and a half. Okay, two hours. But yeah, it's a little smoker, and I'm going to give it a whirl. I'm also going to burn the, burn this hot just to get rid of any uh, coatings or things like that on the inside of the aluminium. I don't actually know what's there. So, let's see how it works.